if you want to see how I went from this to this, then keep on watching. So hello, 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 who, hello you. So yeah, guys, this is my client and she has had these cornrows for like three months. <laughs> yeah, guys, three months. So yeah, she wasn't sick or anything. She just traveled and she did not want any other person dealing with her hair. And yeah, so she had to come back for me to undo the hair. So I first started by spraying her hair yes guys the first rule of working with natural hair never work with hair that is dry always make sure to use water or a conditioner water or works fine and yeah make sure the hair is drenched completely and this is going to avoid any breakage and you know a lot of people complaining about natural hair being very difficult to manage and yeah it is because the, of the way it is being handled because there's no way you're going to um spray your hair with water or have it moist and then still complain of your hair hurting when doing your hair so yeah guys this is a very good tip so yeah guys if you have natural hair and you always complain of your hair hurting you can let anyone doing your hair know to always use water in taking down your hair or basically working with your hair because working with dry hair as a natural hurts like a bastard yeah guys so yes when if you do that or oh, you're going to find that the process is going to be very 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 easy like i said you see how easy it is and look at that gunk oh yeah guys there are some people who live for such videos if you are one of them <laughs> please let me know in the comment section and look at that new growth guys this is three months growth and her hair for some reason her hair is very 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 soft <laughs> i don't know if it's because she left it in for that long but yeah her hair is very very soft and also guys look at that you see the ease with which i am um taking down the cornrows guys this is how it is supposed to be and you see how comfortable she is you see some people they will keep like moving you know keep jumping from the chair whenever you touch their hair yeah guys you don't want that it's going to hurt a lot always make sure you use conditioner or you just spritz with water and you are good to go okay that's what you should do so as you can see her hair was really grown and she was really really happy with the growth look at that oh look at can you see that from where this um the build up is going down to her scalp that's the new growth within three months so yeah guys this is really really i will not advise you to leave your hair that long but sometimes leaving your hair alone also helps it to grow unlike when you keep on constantly manipulate because a lot of manipulation causes your hair to break as well so now i am going to finger detangle yeah so what i mean is i am going to use my fingers to walk through her hair that's like remove every knot and every tangle before i go in with a white tooth comb guys as you can see a white tooth comb and this is also another tip to avoid pulling on your client's hair because it is going to hurt like there's no tomorrow. So yeah, guys, always make sure you use a white tooth cone and start from the ends and work your way to the roots. This way, there is not going to be a lot of pain. She's not going to experience a lot of pain. Yeah, guys, look at that. Oh, her hair felt so soft. And this process, you can also use um, your conditioner as well for or any product that has slip. Any product that is kind of uh, slimy, you can also use that to detangle her hair. So I went in, I discovered there were some tangles in front. And I had to put down my comb and go in strand after strand to remove 
the tango and yeah guys i just when when um i'm done with each section i just twist it up and yeah i move to the next section so guys this is how you want to make sure you you work on natural hair especially hair that has a little bit of length always work in sections because yeah guys imagine going through all this process only to have to do it again because your hair is tangled up let me tell you something about natural hair the more you keep touching it the more it tangles it doesn't matter if you are just from detangling when you keep working with it, it's going to tangle so here guys I already washed her hair and did all the necessary uh, everything necessary we washed her hair and this is my shea butter I am just going to work that into her hair i love shea butter a lot of people actually complain that it gives them dandruff but yeah i use it only on her hair on her scalp you can use something else i usually use shea butter on my hair and virgin hair fertilizer on my scalp so yeah guys i just leave her hair in twist and yeah i kind of like lost the clip of me doing the corn roll but yeah guys you you get the gist of it it's doing corn roll is not difficult and look at how neat her hair is and i told her not to keep it for another three months and she was like she has to keep it for another three months i was like no you can't do that so this is me oiling her scalp like i said i use shea butter for her hair only and i use the hair um so food for her scalp so yeah i just massage that in into her edges as well twist it back up and there you have it guys so if you have watched up to this point please don't forget to subscribe give it a thumbs up leave your comment down below and yeah guys i'll see you all in my next video this is it thank you very much for watching i really appreciate you guys always coming through for me always coming to watch my new videos thank you guys so so very much i really appreciate appreciate you god bless